Alrighty, so the posters at Canada's Wonderland have changed, and they have revealed a lot, actually. Um, so if you look at it first, you can see that it matches up with this Klondike Gold Rush map. Um, in fact, it matches up perfectly. And the dot for the 8.15 was so perfectly placed over the dome, um, which I'll discuss in a bit, that I feel like this teasing poster was exact. It's like meant to do exactly what we just found. Um, so a few things, if you look at this map closely, you'll notice a lot of details. So at this point, I definitely think it is impossible to ignore the fact that this coaster is going to be themed to the Klondike Gold Rush. We've known that for quite some time. The question was, would it be Ziz and Klondike or Jess Klondike? Um, so that question is still unanswered. Um, and in fact, we're going to discuss that a little later tonight after I go to the park and grab some footage um, for a video tonight. Um, the whole Klondike versus Gold Rush theme um, as a whole. Because there's a lot to discuss, and um, as many of you know, we, um, or I should say I, launched a video yesterday discussing the teaser that Wonderland released, and um, there were definitely some things we got correct, and there were definitely, um, let's just say, a lot of things we got wrong or jumped the gun on. So I'm sorry about that. Um, I will definitely talk about those things in tonight's video. It is never our goal to mislead you guys or lead you guys astray, and we are fully honest with you and tell you to take us with a grain of salt here and there. But yeah, we'll definitely discuss the things we got right and the things we got wrong, um, and we'll talk about that image in depth a little more. We were able to enhance it even more, so we'll talk about the things we're seeing in those images. But let's get back to the Klondike Gold Rush. So in this video, or uh, this picture, you can see the Klondike River, Yukon River, the Indian River, the surf of Rocky Mountain, the Dome, you can see a tunnel, actually two tunnels, Dawson City, um, and uh, a few other things that are important are nothing. I, I labeled them all. Uh, there's lots of rivers, um, and we know that there's lots of water work that was done on the construction site. So I would take that and assume that we're probably going to see some rivers, man-made rivers, built into this coaster. Um, and now the interesting subject is, will there be a second mountain? We heard this rumor at the beginning of the season, and I didn't believe it. I never believed it. I thought, there's no way. Um, it would be way too expensive. Now, the interesting topic of discussion with is a second mountain possible is if a second mountain does happen, there's no way in, um, it's not going to say that, but there's no way that this is going to be a giga or even a taller coaster than Val Raven. If there's a second mountain, this coaster is definitely going to be smaller than Val Raven in that aspect because it would be way too costly and it wouldn't make sense to build a second mountain taller than, um, the Wonder Mountain. It, it wouldn't make sense at all. So either there's going to be a second mountain and the coaster is going to be uh, smaller than Val Raven, or there's going to be um, no mountain and the coaster still has the potential to be taller than Val Raven. Now, as you know, as much as we've been pointing out the Giga term, we have never fully said it's going to be a Giga. In fact, we've always openly said we don't believe it's going to be big a, a Giga. In fact, on our Instagram story, you can see we're claiming that the, the likelihood of this being a Giga is around 40%. I would say 30 to 40% chance of this being a Giga. It does rise slowly with more teasers being released. Again, I'll talk about that more in depth in the video tonight with the footage I'm going to go grab in just a sec. I'm heading to the park in just a sec. But this release, and I had to make a video on it. So I'm going to read you what the dome is. And it's interesting that the dot was placed over it. So it's called King Solomon's Dome. Um, it's a uh, 1,234 meter, 4,049 feet peak in the Yukon Mackenzie Divide region of the Yukon Territory, Canada. It is 32 kilometers, 20 miles, southeast of Dawson City, Yukon, and it is believed to be the source of the gold fields that sparked, or, yep, sparked the Klondike Gold Rush at the turn of the 20th century. The mountain's name comes from King's King Solomon, an ancient king of Israel, who was famed for his riches. What's interesting is this was a king of Israel, and Ziz is a Jewish bird. Like, it's a mythological creature from the Jewish Bible. Again, I know it's not called the Jewish Bible. I don't actually know the name. I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone. But yeah, it's weird how that all links together, right? So um, we'll talk about the teasers in a whole. I just wanted to dis discuss this as it directly links the Klondike Gold Rush um, to this new coaster coming to Wonderland. And it also kind of links this whole um, Cedar Creek Mining Co. that's on their way um, from Ohio to come mine some gold here in Canada, if we're believing those teasing posters. 
And um, it definitely brings up the whole aspect and it links the rock work in the last teaser. It links the, the river. It links the um, theming we're seeing in the back area that I've caught on camera, the water tower and the logs and it, the pond markers that are all around now. Um, and definitely that little digging out area at the turn of the station where it looks like they're building a river. Um, I definitely see that. I see a lot of the river rock going in there and the river flowing down. Um, I'm definitely expecting a highly themed coaster now. Now, what's interesting is if you build a Giga Dive coaster, let's go back to the Giga Dive, you wouldn't necessarily need to theme it as well as we're seeing. So as much as this is super exciting that we're figuring out the storyline and all that, it is taking merit away from this whole Giga Dive theory. Um, again, we are a speculation and rumors channel. We're always going to discuss the possibilities of, of all things occurring. And uh, what we talk about is just for mere speculation and for conversation. So never take what we say as being factual unless we tell you to. For example, the blueprints and the uniqueness of the ride and where it goes and all that. Those are facts. But the height, not a fact. The theme, not a fact. We're learning those as you guys are learning those through the teasers. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. There'll be another one tonight. Give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great one. Bye.